Hey, how's it going guys? This is Zed for me and today what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to change the third brake light on your BMW Z4. So if you actually take a look at my third brake light, uh, you will see that it has a lot of issues. Um, it's cracked and actually I had been uh, using some kind of uh, redneck way to fix this, basically hot gluing it on. But as you can see, uh, it's really time to replace this third brake light. Um, it comes right off. So that obviously is going to have to be thrown out and what I did is I went on ECS tuning, bought myself um, the third brake light but the clear version and I think it really suits the uh, Z4 well especially in the color that uh, it's in. The silver will definitely look a lot better so let's get to it. So first let's open up the box and see what it looks like. Alright, here it is. So, it essentially replaces the um, third brake light and instead of having a red lens, it has a clear lens. Um, if you actually turn on the third brake light right now, it actually uh, is red even though there's a red lens over it. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that they actually use the same LEDs um, no matter what lens color you have. Alright, so if I remember correctly, all you have to do is open up the tailgate and remove three 8mm um, nuts. Um, as you can see, I still have some sound deadening material on my trunk. Um, no smell, no goo, um, no issue in the heat, at least in New York. I know a lot of people were asking me um, where I live because maybe in a hotter climate, this material would be coming off, um, but definitely not a single issue for me. Okay, so back on topic, there are three eight millimeter nuts to take off and uh, they're located right One's here, one's here, and one's right there. So you just need yourself a eight millimeter socket um, and a little bit of an extension would be nice. I realized that if you use the short version of these, they don't work very well. So um, having a longer eight millimeter socket will definitely do you good. So let's remove those eight millimeter nuts. Make sure that when you remove it, you take the nut and the spring off. Um, try to make sure the spring doesn't actually fall into your trunk because that would definitely be an issue you don't want to deal with. So this is what the spring looks like. Okay, so once those uh, three nuts are out, it's just a matter of taking out the old one and putting in the new one. Mine's falling to pieces, yours is probably doing the same if you're replacing it. Um, so just try and pull it all out in one piece. Okay, once you pull it out, I would uh, try and find where the connector is. So in order to get to the connector, you have to take off a panel right over here. Um, you could just use a Phillips screwdriver in order to take that off. Once you do that, you could take the panel off. And when you take the panel off, you will see where it is connected. So all you have to do is disconnect it, and you can take out your old third brake light. All right, so as I expected, if you look at the actual LEDs on the new one, as well as the old one, you can see that they essentially use the same LEDs. Um, the only difference really is the lens cover, whether it is clear or red. So let's drop this new one in and uh, we should be good to go. You're gonna have to slowly maneuver this into place. Uh, make sure you don't crack your new lens. When you get it into the right spot, it should fit right in. Not much pressure required. All right, so now um, what we're gonna do is plug it in. We are going to tighten down the um, nuts again, but you don't wanna tighten down the nuts too much because that's really the reason why the old lens cracked is because um, when they're over tightened over time, you're causing a lot of stress at those three points and it'll crack your lens. So first, let's uh, plug it in. Okay, so when you tighten down the nut um, and spring, you wanna make sure that you tighten it up just so that the third brake light is pulled in and you can essentially uh, prove to yourself that water can't actually get in there um, past the uh, grommet. Uh, that's as tight as you need to make it.
All right, so uh, that's basically it. I'm just gonna close the trunk right now and let's take a look at the final product. There it is. If you guys have any questions about doing this project, just let me know. Let me know in the comments below whether you like that the third brake light is clear um, or if you think I should have gone with just the OEM red color. Um, this is that for me and I'll see you guys next time.